far from my native land I roamed. In streams I slept, many seasons I met as the sun set and rose. I searched for a garden to call a home, and the moonlight ebbed as the water flowed. A soft breeze beckoned me unto a spring. Sleep, weary wanderer, your journey is over. May the dancing petals sweeten your slumber. At dawn, I hummed the melody of a distant stream, and the songs in the night serenaded my dreams. A boy's tender tears trembled through the water, stirring me more than any starlight sonata. He wove me a wreath from past petals and future buds. I crossed beyond the veil of dreams to the realm of flesh and blood. Look at the love that shines from his eager gaze. Answer the call of his heart, lest this moment go to waste. The kittens and fireflies invited my heartstrings to sing. But I was a stranger to the melody of mankind, and knew not how this tune should begin. As the river of dreams trickled into the ocean blue, every time a crystal fly flapped its wings, older it seemed he grew. But I learned to fathom human ways each stumbling step I took, and clouds of confusion became crystal clear in the vulnerable verse I wrote. As seed yearns for soil and trees for the sun, a once foreign melody inside my heart sung and it cried out your name on every string it could strum. Now, I give my dream to you. May it be in your slumber a sweet spring to quench your thirst. Now, I hand my heart to you, praying my belated promise might meet still with your trust. Yes. <laughs> this is how I remember you from when we first met. All those years ago. <sighs> it really has been a long, old time, hasn't it? Vince, I... It's okay. I understand. Your poem, it... It explains everything. Thank you, Finch. <laughs> Please, take this. <gasps> it's so beautiful. This is a droplet of water condensed from my own power. Finch... I don't have a physical form like humans, and I can't stay by your side. I don't know how long it'll be before I can change back into human form again. But as long as this droplet remains with you, our hearts will always be connected, no matter the distance between us. I will always be one with the spring. From this day onwards, if you call me, I will meet you in your dreams. Oh, it's so romantic! <laughs> You've really learned a lot, haven't you? And you don't even mind that the kids are watching. Does it bother you? How could it possibly? This is the happiest moment of my life. I just worry that once I go to sleep, I won't ever want to wake up again. Huh? Don't say that. <laughs> I'm only joking. <sighs> it seems that you still have much to learn. <laughs> is that right? <laughs> 
<laughs> Grandpa Finch and Kelly Rowe look so happy. Oh, what a perfect moment. Diona, thank you for fetching Finch for me. I've never forgotten you either. I used to chat with you a lot. Wasn't it ever annoying? <laughs> of course not. You are one of the truest friends I have in the entire world. That's why I gave you your gift. So that a part of me could always be with you. Huh? Wait. So is Diona's ability to mix delicious drinks from disgusting ingredients a blessing from this water spirit? And if so, is it also possible that my pure yang spirit is a gift from some being? <laughs> Yes? I've never regretted meeting you, or deciding to talk to you that night. Not once, all these long years. Not for a single moment. <laughs> it probably goes without saying, but neither have I. Although, it was different from in the stories. That fateful night, I never gave you that kiss. This gift that represents my promise and my love, I give it to you now. Hmm? It's okay, everyone. She's gone now. What? But... Paimon didn't get a chance to say goodbye! Grandpa Finch? Don't worry now. She hasn't gone far. Just like she said, she'll always be one with the spring. By our side and in our dreams. <laughs> 